Now, if you're ready to break out those fall fashions, boy, do I have the forecast for you. It's going to finally change here with a big shift in the weather pattern coming next week. This weekend, though, still warm and muggy. I mean, I will probably be up around 90 degrees or hotter today, Saturday, and Sunday, so no surprise there. But then the weather will really change next week. We have a cold front arriving Monday, sometime maybe Monday morning or midday when it gets here, and it will be a sharp drop in temperatures. It's not one of those little wimpy fronts, you know, where the temperature goes from like 90 to 88, but it's, uh, it's going to be a big drop. We may go from the 70s or 80s Monday morning if there's still some warm air around to the 50s and 60s by afternoon. It may be a situation where the temperature drops like 20 or 25 degrees in just 30 minutes or so. So be ready for Monday. Big change Monday, and there could be some rain as the front passes. And cool and wet weather lasts most of next week. Not just the front where it comes through and cools things for a day or two. It may actually keep temperatures cooler than normal pretty much every day through at least next Friday or Saturday. So we're talking like maybe like a five day cool down at least before we have a chance to get above 80 again. First 1-5 Doppler network is looking pretty dry in most areas. Occasionally a few showers have been blowing up overnight in this morning. Right now we're still just tracking a few small showers, mostly over southern Hidalgo County. You can see a couple on the south side of Far and Alamo and moving out of McAllen to Mission toward Alton and uh, farther to the north. But everything is very small and very weak. One little shower over Alton probably will rain on you for about five minutes, ten minutes or so when it passes. And not too much rain, just a little quick downpour. Heaviest little small shower coming up through Alamo right now. And again, as this crosses the area, maybe five or ten minutes of rain and not much coming out of the clouds overall. Uh, but there is a possibility for a couple more showers or a weak thunderstorm in spots as the day goes on. Temperatures are mostly in the 80s, but already up to 89 in Brownsville, 87 in, in, in Harlingen, 85 in McAllen. We should kind of hang right around 90 or the low 90s for highs this afternoon over most areas. Football games, I think, will be dry, most of them. There might be one or two showers still around near sunset that could dampen a game or two, but I think overall, you know, rain chances are low and getting lower as the evening progresses. So it might be a shower or two somewhere in the valley near kickoff time. But I think as the game goes on, if there are any showers, they will be fading away uh, by around sunset or a little later. So uh, big changes are coming. Went back and looked at some weather records for you. And, you know, it's been so warm for so long, it seems like every day. The last day we could find for these valley cities where the high temperature stayed in the 60s or below or colder, the last day that was that cool when we look at some of the numbers, you have to go back pretty far. Basically, you have to go back all the way to last winter. The last cool day in McAllen was a high of 56 on February 13th, and we had a high in the 50s also in Harlingen and Brownsville. Uh, we stayed in the 60s, upper 60s one day in, in March in Westlaco, where it was in the 70s everywhere else, but 68 on March 12th. So the weather coming up next week will be some of the coolest numbers we've seen since mainly last February or early March across the valley. Now here's what's happening. We have a cold front that's to the south. This is a, a fairly weak front. It's one that came through and is bringing us the rain. The tail end of this front still has some moisture along it, so we've had some showers the last few days, but most of the cool air has stayed to the north. The, the uh, cool air hasn't made it too far south with this front. Over the weekend, though, that front kind of just hangs out and starts to fizzle out to our south, which allows some of the warmer temperatures to come back. This next disturbance passes by to the north, and that could create some showers and storms in North Texas this weekend. But behind it, a very strong cold front comes into the state on Sunday and then moves into the valley by Monday sometime in the morning or afternoon. Could have some rain along the front, but then gusty north winds come and falling temperatures. And once that happens, temperatures stay down and it probably stays cloudy and wet for several days. So the first 1570 forecast warm through the weekend. It will be rather humid for, for the weekend as well. Highs in the 90s, lows in the upper 70s. A couple of showers and storms could form each day, but most places look dry and the majority of the time looks dry. Monday, though, as the front hits, you know, it shows 89 there because some of the models do keep it, you know, maybe warm in the morning, then a sharp fall off in the afternoon. So by later in the afternoon, we'll probably be in the upper 50s or 60s. It's going to be a very sharp drop in temperatures, some rain around, maybe a few thunderstorms. And then behind it, kind of that winter type pattern, not winter temperatures overall, but highs could only reach the low 60s, lows in the 50s and showers and lots of clouds through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, probably until at least Friday, too. Uh, with more clouds. We'll keep tracking in your first 1-5 forecast here coming up.